this is what I call factoring blitz. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do quick three factoring problems and just kind of try to explain it as quickly to the point as possible, and then we'll move on to another set of three. Uh, remember, factoring is you're factoring out the greatest common denominator, meaning what is the greatest number or variable that goes into every single term, that it can be divided into every single term. So here, what do these two uh, terms share? Well, they obviously, the largest number they share is 15. They don't share a y, so I can factor out 15, and factor now is just like dividing out. So 30 divided by 15 is gonna leave me with two, minus 15 divided by 15, factor out of 15, I'll be left with one. I don't need to write the one, so I'm left with two minus y. Here, I look at these two problems and I say, well, between all these numbers, the largest number that they all share is a seven. So when I factor out a seven, it's like dividing out a seven. 14 divided by two is two, Oh shoot, I should probably do the x's and y's next, right? Uh, well, did I mess up the problem? Or is that really that it? Yeah, it's 63x, okay. So then I look at this and I say, is there any other, var any other variable that they all share? Well, they all share an x, so I can also factor out an x. I cannot factor out a y because 63x does not contain a y value, so I cannot factor one out. Um, so when I factor this out, 7x is going to leave me with x. Y, because x times x equals x squared, left with the y, minus 5y minus 9. And if you want to check your work real quick, you can just do the distributive property back and see if you get your correct answer. And what you'll notice is you get the correct answer. Last one over here is now I have some really kind of crazy terms. Think of these as like, as like x's. Okay? I know they're a binomial and they're a big term, right? But just think of them as like an x. If these were x's, 5x plus 4x, you would know that you could factor out an x. Right? That would be possible. However, they're not x's. They're different. They're a plus 3b. But still, we can do the same thing. Factor out an a plus 3b, and you're left with 5a plus 4. Factoring blitz. Number one.